Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and happy new year to everyone. I really wish you had a good party to the new year, and I wish you the best of luck for the new year. Euro dollar will be one market which should be closely watched these days. It's, it surged just some, some, some days ago. There was a flash surge. 1.4 cents or 140 pips upwards in just a few seconds and that shows how technically trading is uh, especially in those high vo volume markets like euro dollar the fight is not decided yet for euro dollar the decision is not made yet where the next big move is going to go it broke lower to a new multi-year low uh, it broke below one point um, 10460 uh, that was a strong support and it broke that support uh, to the downside which normally should have led to um, a continuation of the downtrend in the direction of the euro dollar parity but as we all know obviously that didn't come so we are above 10460 um, uh, so um, again with that flash surge so that went relatively quickly so a lot of traders who were short in that market were stopped out and that snapping back after breaking a support is a very bullish uh, very bullish technical signal or might be a very bullish technical signal uh, because everyone who was short is now in a situation of um, at least or, or in a situation where they have been stopped out or at least think about um, reasserting their their view on euro dollar so that might be a snapback and that surge that came just some days ago might extend in the coming days very interesting um, to watch as well as the solar panels market in china most Chinese solar panel producers are producing those panels at a loss right now. That is a new technical, a new market study that just came out. The production, uh, um, the, the price went down as low as 36 uh, cents per watt. And that is bad news for silver because the actual demand for silver to produce solar panels could go down. Uh, or could continue to go down if there should be more bankruptcies in the Chinese uh, solar panel sector. The consolidation in China and the solar sector there is not finished and it already has hurt the um, silver demand from that sector meaningfully in the past years. If you look at the relative uh, ratio, the relative strength between gold and silver, it's really interesting to see that um, over the past 10 years, uh, or at least the past seven years, gold has had a quite a run relative to silver. Silver has been underperforming gold. Gold has been outperforming silver. But that has that uptrend in the outperformance of gold relative to silver has been broken with the uh, price action we saw last year. And that is actually... Um, a signal that there might be a better world economy and economic development in the world economy this year. And it's also, uh, that has also been signaled by the PMI's purchasing manager indices in the past uh, months. There's been a tick up worldwide. So it might be that the year 2017 will bring a better economic development and that would be positive for silver which is uh, very heavily used by the uh, industrial demand has been taken up heavily by in by industrial demand and um, there could be a silver outperformance coming relative to gold if you think that this might be something that um, is going to happen then you can do a so-called straddle trade where you take the same amount of money and go short gold and with the same amount of money you go long silver. If you think the opposite is true, that gold will continue its outperformance relative to silver, then you go gold long and short silver. When you do that straddle trade, it's a non-directional trade, which means that um, 
is only important that the ratio goes in the, in the right direction. It's no longer important where gold and silver actually are moving to. If you look at the German DAX, another market uh, which is interesting, it closed at a yearly high. So if you look at the yearly candle, it's really looking very positive, but there is a major um, high from a Dow theory perspective at 10,431, which is trading around that mark and that price tag right now. Um, the probability is that at least there will be a consolidation around that resistance is heightened. And so just uh, watch that. We've got the honeymoon rally at Wall Street still continuing. And that honeymoon rally could last um, as long as or it could last until Donald Trump is um, inaugurated into the uh, presidency, um, which by itself is nothing that is negative. But if you look at the historical development, every time when a Democrat has been succeeded by a Republican or vice versa in the White House, there has been this honeymoon rally. And this honeymoon rally has lasted until the inauguration date of the new president. And that is the 20th of January, if I'm right. So we've got some, some weeks still running with a positive headwinds actually for European stocks coming from New York and coming from Wall Street. So everything actually right now, or not everything, but at least the equity prices in the DAX and the equity prices that went up sharply in the past weeks, in the last weeks of the year 2016, are signaling that the world economy will be more positive, will be showing more positive growth in six to nine months. So that is interesting to watch if that will be affirmed by purchasing manager indices and real economic data that is going to come.